Department. Our first inductee tonight is Audrey Nelson. Audrey is one of the finest volleyball players uh, ever to play here at UCCS. Her name's all over the record books. And a couple of teammates are here tonight to present for Audrey. Uh, Jessica Atkins, who you might remember as Jessica Wood, and Stephanie Shalosky. And they'll introduce Audrey, and then the, they'll play a little video, and then Audrey will come up and, and give a speech. Okay, I was a little nervous about talking tonight, and I just looked at my piece of paper that I stole from my mom's office, and it says, forget princess, I want to be a vampire. <laughs> so, very official. <laughs> um, just to give you a little history, um, Stephanie and I both played with Audrey Nelson um, when we were in high school. We played two seasons of club ball together. Um, and then Audrey and I went on to play our first two years of college at Murray State before she transferred back here. So I will go first and try not to roast Audrey too bad. <laughs> um, I'm sure that you will see a lot of stats. You can talk about stats um, when it comes to an athlete. Audrey speak for herself, considering she only played here for two years and some of the records that she holds. So um, I will let that speak for itself. I want to talk about Audrey as a person um, and as a player. And if you have ever met Audrey, um, you will know that her competitive side is quite deceiving. This girl is goofy. <laughs> when you meet her, she is always laughing, always telling a joke, and most of the time it almost looks like she's skipping, um, which is a lot of fun when you're getting ready to compete. Um, but the first time I actually competed with Audrey was in club, and my fondest memory of her was she would walk around with a stack of quarters, and she would set them on her elbow. And if any of you have ever tried this, you know it's very difficult. She was working on her arm speed. She would drop her arm and catch them. And she is the only person that I know who has done 10 all at once. Um, and that is how she would warm up for a game. So you know, obviously, you're thinking this girl is a little goofy and maybe not ready to compete. Um, but as soon as you stepped on the court, she was all there. Um, one of the things that I loved about playing with Audrey is she was fearless. Um, our freshman year at Murray State, we played the University of Michigan um, in a preseason tournament. And they had made it to the Sweet 16 the year before in Division I. And I am 5'6", I wear big girl shoes, so it's deceiving. But Audrey is a lot taller than I am. The shortest girl on the University of Michigan's team was 6'2". And she was their setter. That was who I got to play against. Audrey was lined up against a six foot four all American outside hitter named Jenna Roble. And all we had heard about was how awesome this girl was and how you couldn't stop her, you couldn't dig her, you couldn't do anything against Jenna Roble. Um, and Audrey just warmed up the same way she always did, singing a little song, playing with the quarters, bouncing around, acted like it was no big deal. And sure enough, we start the game and within the first five minutes, Audrey had stuff blocked her twice. And she just turned around and laughed. And that's what I loved about Audrey, is she knew enough to keep the game a little bit fun, but when you stepped on the court, you knew it was all business. And she is the type of player that inspired confidence. And not so much in her words, but in the way that she acted. Um, and just to tell you how fiercely competitive this girl is, she um, still likes to play a lot. And she actually threatened not to come to this event unless we promised to play at least once while she was here. <laughs> so I am honored, and I feel like it couldn't be deserved more that Audrey Nelson is being inducted into the Hall of Fame. I'm also very excited to be here and to help in honoring Audrey um, tonight. Um, I had the privilege of playing with her here at UCCS for the last two years of her career. Um, one thing that I remember about Audrey is that she was very tough. Um, as Jess said, she's fearless. 
uh, she had to play defense behind me. And I'm 5'3", and uh, I can remember a few times uh, hearing Audrey getting pelted behind me and turning around, and she'd have a big smile. She'd come give me a pat on the back. <laughs> and she just, she was great. She was fearless about it. She didn't mind it. Uh, she was encouraging to me, and uh, I appreciated that about her, but I don't know that I would want to do that. Um, Audrey was a great teammate. Uh, she knew how to motivate her teammates um, with the perfect blend of encouragement and demand for excellence. And she just, she just honestly made her teammates better. Um, she was confident and a talented athlete, but she had humility as well. And I feel that that's very rare in athletes today. And um, I think that was very evident in the, the respect that her teammates have for her, and they still have respect for her. Um, I just believe that Audrey has never known how truly great she is and how tonight, um, and so tonight I hope that this award shows her her value as a player, um, as a teammate, and a friend. While only a mountain lion for two seasons, Audrey Nelson's offensive numbers still rank among the best in the volleyball program's history at UCCS. She has four of the top five performances for kills in a match, holds the season record with 568 kills in a season, and is sixth with 975 career kills. Audrey was an RMAC first team selection in 2001. I tell the girls I've never seen anybody hit a volleyball as hard as Audrey Nelson. She was able to do some things uh, that were new and unique to UCCS that I hadn't seen there before. But the big thing about Audrey for me was she was always larger than life. She was um, exuberant, but you always knew where you stood with Audrey. She was a straight shooter. Uh, she never held back, but yet she was also that way on the court as well. She needed her teammates to know what they needed to do to move forward and, and take that next step. From what I understand, Audrey was a spitfire. She was a competitor. And for our girls to potentially be able to see that and emulate that, it would be huge. I would love for at least some of our kids to have that kind of competitiveness and that kind of just grit on the court. Compared to when players have four years to get in those top 10 of career records, she did it in two. Uh, set multiple season records. Uh, her game records are still, I think she had four of the top five kills records in games that we've ever had still. And that's been 10 plus years since she played. The impact that Audrey is having on our program is that she's giving all of us players something to live up to and work hard for. For someone to accomplish those goals and those statistics that she has after only two seasons, it's pretty amazing. So it's some, someone that I definitely look up to. Audrey's induction to the Hall of Fame for us means a lot. We're going from being middle of the pack in the RMAC to now having her inducted to the Hall of Fame and kind of feeding off of that. And the girls are really excited. I know a lot of them have even said, this is really cool, maybe one day that we could be in this situation. And really all they can do is feed off of it. It's a really, really cool thing for our program. UCCS would like to congratulate Audrey Nelson for her induction into the Hall of Fame Class of 2013 for Mountain Lion Athletics. Ladies and gentlemen, UCCS Hall of Famer Audrey Nelson. What an honor. Um, this is a huge honor. It really, really is. Um, when Brian called me and said that I was being inducted into the Hall of Fame, I said, are you sure you have the right person? <laughs> um, I only played here for two seasons, and I, I was kind of a pain. I, I really, you know, my coach had to deal with a lot. I, I was a big personality. Um, but it really, I mean, 
I never knew how much I meant to them or to you. Um, and it's, it's a real honor to hear that, it really is. Um, I've been through a lot in the last 10 years and to come here and receive such, such an honor from such a great institution is, it, it truly is humbling. Um, I didn't want to tell anybody I was coming here to receive this award and I was just, I told everybody, I'm going to Colorado, I'm going to go visit some people and come back, it'll be fine. Um, and my mother is, <laughs> my mother, the, the prideful woman that she is, uh, made sure she told everybody um, why I was coming out here. Um, and it was, I received a lot of, a lot of congratulations for that. Um, that being said, I would like to thank my mother who has sat on more bleachers than anybody I know. Uh, my stepdad too, who sat on a lot of bleachers. Um, <laughs> UCCS for being such a great institution to play at. I mean, the atmosphere here was always really cozy and we were always really tight with everybody around us, whether it was the crowd or our other teammates or other athletes. Um, I really appreciated that about being here. Um, I wanna thank you girls for carrying it on. Keep going. Um, who else do I need to thank? Oh, God. I need to thank God. That's important. And um, I'm going to thank, I'm gonna thank my son because he is so excited to be up here. And um, you know, I want to thank my teammates. Um, my teammates really picked me up and carried me a lot. And um, without them, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't be half the competitor that I am. They really contributed quite a bit um, to any career that I may have had or that I did have. Um, and that being said, I really want to just thank all of you guys. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for inviting me here. Thanks for having us out here. Um, this is a real honor, and I appreciate it. Thank you.